All right, here's what happens in a normal day. Uh, the project is this. There is this NASCAR or like uh, a driver. And he became the champion last year as far as I remember. Well, the company is called Stable One, I think. And the, the driver wants something cool for himself. They approached me and they said, let's do something. And basically, this is his logo. This is um, a horse. And as, I don't know if you know me, but we are strong with belt buckles, like crazy size belt buckles. And now for him to get going, I need to make a sample. There is always a chance that maybe I will just do it and throw it in the ocean. Maybe they will love it and go ahead with it. But we have to give him something substantial to think about. And for that, I always use the silver. Mm. So in different stages, you will see how we make pieces by hand. There are a lot of different ways to put the design on the sheet or anything like as I told you before in a couple of videos before American people does that by carving waxes but the way we do it is to start with metal and finish it with the, with the metal. Sometimes of course I ask myself why am I doing this because it's more cost costly but this is how we got used to it. This is what, what our fathers and the grandfathers taught us and we keep the same tradition. So when I was gluing this piece, Aaron grabbed the piece uh, to show you what he liked. That was uh, a collection that, that we named Jeweled Ink. It's basically out of tribal tattoos, dragon tribal tattoos that we do and he loved this uh, three-dimensional the shading inside and the, the cap underneath and the, the framing that I did in 24 karat gold. He is not yet sure about if we will use some diamonds or rubies or anything because for some reason he thinks they, the stones will be too much but I will try to convince him that it gives actually the, the soul to the design. This is the most boring part. You will see, probably, uh, Aaron will crop the video because it takes a lot of time and it is always the same action going up and down with the blade. Believe me, it's the, the most boring part. But then when you get the piece, when you start having the, the outcome of what you do, then it becomes interesting and, and it, makes you, it makes you, it starts to make you happy. Well, anyway, I just realized that when I'm working, I like to listen to rock and roll music, and Erin didn't supply that for me. I think she will do it right now. Going. So, there's a technology Erin is using, which is called Pandora. And in there, you create your stations, and this is the Aerosmith radio. And these guys are really rocking, so... And they're rocking, you're rocking also. And there's this guy I want to know. I want you to know, called oh, Richie Coxon. One day I'll meet him. This guy is, for some reason, I find myself very close to his personality. And 99% I would say I listen to him when I'm doing this stuff. And one day, I'll meet him and say, man, you are a big part of my production, I would say. 